Hello, I'm Angela Dominguez. I'm so excited to tell you about myself, my work, and Mango Abuela and me. When I went to an art camp in seventh grade, um, I was struggling because I wasn't regarded like as the best one. And I went with my friend who is a very talented artist and works in the artist in a different way as an adult. Um, and But I did one drawing at the end where the teacher told me, you know, this is good. And it was the first drawing my mom ever framed up on the wall. And I always love telling kids about that because all of them have the tools ready to make their own stories and they should try because it's so much joy comes from creating a book and feeling that accomplishment of I wrote a story and these are the pictures that go with it. Oh, I, I absolutely love drawing animals because they're so expressive and they have their own little personalities. And the Perico in the book is like, you know, in a way also one of the heroes. And so I've always loved having pets and I'm lucky enough to have gotten a dog in the past year. Her name is Petunia and she is a Boston Terrier and Chihuahua. And I haven't written a book about her yet, but I'm hoping to do one soon because oh, she is such a character and she just has, there has to be a book about her. I love authoring and I love illustrating and combining the two together, but there is something so much fun about getting someone else's story. And um, especially with Meg's story, I was just inspired because it was an experience that I could relate to. I was born in Mexico, but we moved to the United States when I was really young, when I was less than two years old. And so I struggled with speech and had to take speech classes for a few years. So my grandparents, I love them and I could understand them, but I didn't have the words that I wanted to have to be able to express how I was feeling to them or what I thought. With Mango Abuela and me, I resonated with Mia and the Abuela story. And so like there has to be some sort of interpersonal like connection that I can relate to for me to feel like it can do it authentically. I think there's just so much fun and energy from sharing this love of reading and drawing and sharing the creative process and making connections with kids. Um, especially kids who might be on the shyer side, like I was, especially when I was younger, or Latino kids that see themselves, like that's always a great joy. You know, growing up, I didn't realize that I never saw myself in a book. And a lot of times the books that I would read, um, I would sometimes be craving like culture and the idea of different places in the world. Like one of my favorite books growing up was How Many Spots Does a Leopard Have by Julius Lester. And I just loved it because it was showing a different place, um, traditional African folk tales, and I just was uh, obsessed with it. And I would just read it over and over. So now I think it's so great to show uh, Latino culture so that kids can um, realize the feelings that they're having and their experiences that they're not alone. I want kids to feel such pride in themselves, especially Latino kids, and not to feel embarrassed that they may be different from some of their classmates and that actually speaking two languages is a really cool thing and they should be very proud of that. We hope that Mango Abuela Me is a great fit for your classroom or home library.